Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a linked table to an Excel sheet from Microsoft Access. Today, we've got two questions. The first one comes from Ronnie in Olympia, Washington, one of my Platinum members. Ronnie says, my sales department keeps a spreadsheet on the network that contains all the new customers for the month. Is there any way that I can open that sheet up from Access to view their data? I'd like to query that against my existing data I have in Access, but I don't want to have to keep importing their sheet over and over again. Well, Ronnie, we can certainly do that by linking to the Excel spreadsheet as a linked table. I'll show you how to do that in just a few minutes. And then later on in the extended cut for members, another question from Brent from Tracy, California, one of my gold members and an Access veteran on my site. Brent says, is it possible to link to one cell in an Excel workbook which has multiple sheets? For example, the first sheet we will call tab one and the second tab two. I would like to link to a value that is in cell B6 on tab two. Would this be possible? Yes, Brent, it's gonna require a little bit of VBA coding, but it's definitely possible, and I'll show you how to do that in the extended cut. But first, let's get to Ronnie's question. Now, before I show you how to link to an Excel spreadsheet, I want you to know how to import data from Excel first. So if you have not watched this yet, go watch my import data video. I'll show you how to grab data out of an Excel worksheet and pull it into Access into a new table. That's the first step. So go watch that and then come on back here. Now, linking to an Excel spreadsheet is very similar to importing, except you're not actually pulling a copy of the data into Access. All you're doing is telling Access, hey, see that spreadsheet over there? I want you to go read that guy. All right, but keep a live connection to it. So any changes that are made in that spreadsheet, I want to see those in Access automatically without having to constantly pull that stuff in. So here's a little simple spreadsheet I got. All right, it's got ID, first, last, and email. And I want to link to this from my Access database, okay? Switch over to my database. This is my Tech Help free template. You can grab a copy of this off my website if you want to. It's a free download. You'll find a link down below in the links section in the description under the video. To create a link, we're going to go to External Data, New Data Source, From File, and then Excel, very similar to importing. But now we're going to come down here and pick Link. Link to the data source by creating a linked table. Access will create a table that will maintain a link to the source data in Excel. Changes made to the source data in Excel will be reflected in the link table. However, the source data cannot be changed from within Access. This is a read-only connection, okay? So you'll be able to read any changes made to the Excel spreadsheet by other people, or you yourself can open up that spreadsheet in Excel to make changes, but you can't change it from inside of Access. That's one limitation of a linked table. I'm going to browse to where my file exists, Mine's right here in my My Drive. Hit open, then hit OK. All right. Now, Microsoft Access can use your column headings as field names for your table. Does the first row contain column headings? Yep, it does in this case. And there are the different fields. It's pretty good at getting the fields right. Hit next. What do you want your linked table name to be? Let's call this Excel Link T. And then hit finish. And there you go. There's your Excel link T. Open it up, and there's the data, just like it is in the spreadsheet. Now, you can make little design changes as far as, like, uh, layout stuff in here. If you want to do that, that's fine. Okay, but you can't actually modify this table, and you can't modify the data in it. If I try typing right now, it says this record set is not updatable. Okay, but if you want to compare these records to the people in your database, you want to take, you know, check this against your customer list, you can certainly do that. Now... This might or might not be a customer ID, probably isn't. So we can link them by email address. Just make a query joining the two together. Watch this. Let's go to create query design. I'll bring in my Excel link T. It's under links. Go to tables now and bring in your customer table. Okay. Now we've got an email over here. We've got an email over there. Let's join these together. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in email address. And then first and last over here, and let's bring in uh, first name and last name on this side. If I run the query now, there you go. You can see there's two people that matched. Okay, I've got a total of four people in here. Two of these are not. And if you want to see all of the people in the Excel table and just the customer info that matches, make this an outer join. I have another video on outer joins 
that says show all the records over here and the ones that happen to match over there. And now you can see those two people are not customers. See that? That's called an outer join. I got a free video on outer joins too. I'll put a link down in the link section below. That's pretty powerful stuff. All right, I'll save this as my Excel X customer Q. All right, Excel versus the customers. You can see here who's new and who's not. You can run any other reports and stuff that you want to based on this linked table. It acts just like a linked table or just like a regular table in Access. You can make forms off of it. Of course, they're read-only. You can make reports off of it. Do whatever you want to it. If you want to learn a lot more about importing, exporting, and linking to Excel, I cover that in my Access Expert Level 20 class. Lots of stuff covered in this class about importing, exporting, linking, and so on. Now, here's the nice part, okay? The next day, they come in here and they add a few more people, right? We got Doug, Pete, and no email address for him, let's say. And they add uh, Getty Lee at 2112 at 599cd.com. Okay, I hate that. <laughs> I always undo those hyperlinks. All right, save that. Close it. And now let's take a look. Look at that. There's the new people. See that? So that is a live link to that spreadsheet. Okay. And yes, these changes won't show up until that person saves their work. So if they've got the spreadsheet open on their computer and they're typing in a bunch of data and they haven't saved it in a while, you won't see it until it's saved. That's one of the benefits of having everybody work in Access is because in Access, each record is saved as soon as you leave it. Okay, so if you're typing in rows like this into a table, as soon as she leaves Doug Pete's record, that gets saved to the table and everybody else in the database will see the updates. With Excel... The updates only save once the file is saved. So they can have it open all day on their computer and you'll never see any of the updates. They got to tell them to save frequently. But if this is something where once a week or so, you just want to go in and grab that and see, you know, who the new customers are and do your reporting and stuff like that, this works just fine. Now, if you do want to pull all this data in and make changes to it, you can import it like I show you in the other video, make the changes and then export it back out to the same Excel file. All right, I do cover that in my full courses. Now, what if you got over here something like sales, like how much is this customer purchased? Right, and you got a column of numbers over here. Okay, and down here, you've got the total, like this, right? Equals the sum of this stuff. Okay, now, Brent's question is, what if you just wanna get that value? You don't wanna import this whole sheet, and this isn't really real records down here. You just want to get whatever is in cell E9 on sheet one. How do you do that? Well, I will cover that and answer Brent's question in the extended cut for members. So in the extended cut for members, we will use a little VBA Excel automation to open up a copy of Excel in memory. We'll then be able to read and write a value from any cell on any sheet in that book. And I'll also show you how to do it with a named range as well. So that will be covered in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. And there's like 200 of them now. And gold members can download these files. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free.
If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.